All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode. So on this episode, guys, I'm gonna go over five simple ways on how to invest your money in 2020. Now, with that being said though, guys, I'm not no financial advisor of any sort whatsoever. This is purely for educational purposes, you know, entertainment purposes. So don't go out and invest in something like this and then blame it on me, okay? This is for educational purposes. This are, these are just my suggestions. So take them with a grain of salt, all right? But with that further ado, let's begin with the video. So number one on the list, guys, is the same thing that I've been preaching to everybody every time they ask me what to invest in. And that's always into yourself, okay? Into your knowledge, your skills, you know? Like, what do you do for money? Always invest into yourself first, whether it be going back to college, starting a business possibly, or just listening to a few podcasts, reading a few books, investing into a course. Like, guys, investing into yourself will give a bigger ROI than any stock, real estate, you know, business will ever give you. So always invest into yourself first and just keep on investing into yourself as much as you can, okay? Because you are the number one asset out here and if you're not filling yourself up, then how do you expect to make money with some other type of asset, all right? So that's number one. Now, number two on the list is something that a lot of people don't seem to preach is um, investing into your network, okay, into people. Listen, guys, especially for those of you who want to start a business, investing into people should be your number one priority no matter what, even without a business. Because when it comes to people, guys, there's a lot of possibilities and just so many things that can happen if you invest into your network, you know, expanding your network, your friendships with other people. Because you never know, you might meet, you know, somebody down the street who is a friend of a friend of a cousin of a brother or some crap like that that's related to, you know, Jeff Bezos or something like that. Next thing you know, you're cool with that person, you connect to that person, and next thing you know, you're cool with Jeff Bezos out of nowhere. Now, the odds of that are happening are probably slim to none, but you never know, okay? You might just stumble upon a millionaire, billionaire, and you never even knew because you're so timid and introverted. So, I mean, start expanding your network, okay, guys? Whether it be on social media or even better in person, which is probably a better idea, you know? Meet someone new. Take them out to eat. Get to know somebody, you know? Expand your network because meeting new people, guys, will open lots and lots of doors. And, I mean, there's just more money to be made with people, especially if you put them as your first priority, all right? So, invest into people, okay? That's another great investment. Now, of course, that also doesn't mean, you know, use them just for money or something like that. No, you know, build that relationship as well, okay? Don't just go and using people for your own good, okay? Actually take the time and know somebody and build a solid relationship, okay? Now, number three on the list is, um, well, if you're watching this, most likely nine out of ten and you are probably an employee at a job, correct? Which means you probably have a 401k. And this is one of the first few things I also tell people that, you know, message me about investing in one night is if you have a 401k at your job, take advantage of it by, you know, matching the employer match at your company, okay? Because if you're not matching that contribution at work, you're missing out on tons and tons of free money, okay? So be sure to match it, ask HR about it, you know, ask them, you know, how to match your contributions with that company. So that way they can match it dollar for dollar. And that's free money that you're getting every single time you get paid, okay? That's investing for your future, for your retirement, for your family. So be sure to ask about that, okay? A lot of people don't know about this and it's really sad because a lot of these companies don't do a great job of explaining it to other people, okay? They just simply say, hey, you have a 401k and boom. And they don't even consider telling you about the fees that come, you know, with the 401k as well. But that's a whole different topic for a different video. So be sure to invest in your 401k if you have it, okay? Now, if you're self-employed, then you obviously don't have one. There's different alternatives for that, so be sure to check that out as well. But if you do have a 401k, guys, invest in that as well, okay? Be, just, just do it, okay? Now, number four on the list, guys. Well, if you are self-employed or you do have a 401k and you want to invest into something other than a 401k, well, you should be investing into what's known as a Roth IRA, okay? Now, let me say that again. Roth IRA. So if you're unfamiliar with what a Roth IRA is, it's essentially equivalent to what a 401k is. Now the major differences with this is that with a 401k, I think the max you can put up per year is like I think 19,000 or 18,000 for every single person or something like that. Don't hold me on that, it's been a while since I checked up on that. But with the Roth IRA, the maximum that you can contribute with the Roth IRA in 2020 is 6,000 bucks. So it's a little bit less that you can contribute. But again, it's a great alternative to investing if you already have a 401k or if you don't have a 401k. 
And again, this is another retirement plan that's gonna build up for your future. Now, another key difference with the Roth IRA and a 401k is that with the 401k, when you're investing your money, you're investing pre-tax money, okay? Meaning that before they take out taxes from your paycheck, they're gonna invest some of your money from your paycheck into a 401k before they take out taxes. Now, the downside to this is that when they do this and you decide to pull your money out when you're 69 or whatever, then you're gonna pay taxes when you pull it out, okay? So even though you're not paying taxes now, you will be paying them down the road, so be aware of that. Now, with the Roth IRA, this is investing money after taxes, meaning that after they've already taken taxes from your paycheck or if you're self-employed, you know, getting paid through something else, then this is the money that after taxes and everything, this is the money that you take and you invest it into a Roth IRA, all right? Now, the good thing about this is that since it's already after tax money, you're never gonna be taxed on it again, okay? Meaning that if you have like a million dollars by the age of 69 with a Roth IRA, that's all yours to keep, okay? You don't have to pay no extra taxes on it whatsoever because you already did it before, okay? So that's another great investment that I think you should consider investing in 2020. Now, if you're not sure where to invest in a Roth IRA, there are plenty of great platforms out there to invest with, such as M1 Finance, I think TD Ameritrade does it, Vanguard, I mean, there's just a lot of platforms. Be sure to Google it, do your research. I might make a video on which platforms are good to invest in a Roth IRA, but regardless, guys, check them out. You know, do your research and invest in a Roth IRA if you already haven't done so, okay? That's another great investment to make, especially in 2020 if you haven't already. Now, the fifth and final investment that you need to invest your money in in 2020, guys, is, well, basically the stock market, okay? Now, the stock market is essentially for everybody that, you know, resides here in the U.S. And it's a great investment because it's something that you can just, you know, put your money in, let it sit, and just keep on accumulating that money over time, okay? If you let it compound with dividends and just keep reinvesting that money, guys, it will compound so much down the road that when you do decide to pull out, you know, by the time you're like 69 or something like that, you will have a large sustainable amount of money just waiting and sitting there for you when you decide to retire, okay? Now you can pull out earlier if you want as well, but I mean, it would behoove you to, you know, just keep reinvesting all that money back and back into the stock market and just keep it going. Now listen, as of 2020, a lot of stocks are at all time highs. So if you do invest now, there's a possibility that, uh, I mean, we might see a either correction or a recession or something like that, you know, a market crash, whatever you want to call it. You know, we might see something like that soon. So be aware of that and just know that if you invest now and then if something like that does happen, you might lose some money in the short term, but just hold your stocks and just keep it and just let it sit there until it decides to go back up. And I mean, it'll just keep continue to grow over time. And not even individual stocks, you know, you can invest into index funds, mutual funds, you know, and these are just a pool of different stocks all into just one index alone, okay? So you're able to stay diversified and not having all your eggs in one basket, okay? So that's another great way to invest your money and it's something that I, I always tell people to also invest into as well, okay? If you're not gonna do any of the other things above, then be sure to invest into the stock market at least. It's one of the simplest and most easiest ways to invest your money, especially if you don't wanna do anything else like starting a business or anything like that. This is another great way to invest your money in, okay? So be sure to you know consider that, do a little research. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. You can start off with as little as 100 bucks or something. That's what I invested with when I first started. So, you know, take it by little steps, okay? By little baby steps, okay? So, you know, invest your money, regardless of how you invest your money, guys. It's important that you invest your money, okay? Don't just let your money sit in the bank account making you nothing whatsoever. Especially if you have a savings account with one of these brick and mortar banks like Wells Fargo, Chase, you know, all those banks. If you have a savings account with those, uh, I would probably consider looking somewhere else, like maybe online banks and then, you know, putting your money in there because I guarantee you those banks are not paying you nothing whatsoever for your money. Meanwhile, they're borrowing your money and making tons of money off your money. So please be aware of that, you know, consider investing into something else. But before I wrap up this video, guys, I just want to say that, you know, when it comes to investing, people are really scared to invest their money, okay? And, and I mean, you got to be willing to take that risk to invest, okay, guys? Because if you're not investing into yourself, you're investing into someone else's future. And I mean, that's not something that you want to do, especially when 30, 40 years down the road, you have nothing to show for it whatsoever, okay? So be sure to invest into something regardless what it is, stocks, 
real estate, you know, a business, yourself, especially yourself, just invest into something. It doesn't matter what, just start now here in 2020. You know, it's a fresh new year. There's no reason to not start. You're alive. Hopefully a lot of you are healthy and well. I mean, and just invest guys, okay? Just invest. It's highly imperative that you invest. It's extremely important. And I'm telling you right now, you're gonna regret it if you don't invest, okay? Especially if you're in your 20s or 30s, you're gonna regret not starting earlier, okay? Now me, I really wish someone had told me how to invest my money back then when I was like 18. Because I mean, I just had money sitting there in the bank and I ended up spending just because I didn't know where else to put my money. So that's a shame, it's terrible, but we're here now. You know, we're investing into something, into a business, stocks, all that good stuff. So regardless guys, we're starting now. And I, you know, highly suggest that a lot of you start now as well, because again, you're just gonna regret it. And I'm telling you now guys, you don't wanna live with that regret, all right? But that's gonna wrap it up for this video and I'll see you in the next one, all right? Later.